National Days of the Week. Starting with today, the 7th of July, it's National Macaroni Day. Yes, put a little macaroni in your hat. Oh, put a little something in your hat and call it macaroni. I don't know what the hell you're putting in your hat and calling it macaroni. If you're if you're physically mentally challenged, you can put anything in your hat and call anything macaroni. It's National Macaroni Day. You know, I do love me some good macaroni. I believe macaroni, one of the perfect pastas, it's got enough surface area to collect your sauces. Doesn't matter what it is. It's cheese, it's marinara, it's uh, Alfredo, doesn't matter. If it's a sauce, the macaroni noodle has a bunch of ways of capturing it. I like macaroni, but I'm going to stuff various things in my hat today and just call it macaroni in spirit of National Macaroni Day. Hello, one viewer. Moving on. Uh, On the 8th, tomorrow, National Video Game Day. That's right. You have an excuse, gentlemen. To go play your video games. Is that misogynistic, T-Bone? Maybe. I don't know a lot of female gamers. I know a lot of female whores. (laughs) Who use gaming as a a way of uh, uh, increasing their OnlyFans audience. I know them. But I don't know a lot of women who enjoy playing video games. I actually broke up my video game uh, yesterday. Because they're racing in Silverstone this weekend, and I wanted to race the track. I wanted to remember every curve of that track. The problem is my version of uh, the video game is a little outdated. If I were to be put in a Formula One seat right now, I would crash into a wall because they've uh, changed the course up a little bit. A wee bit. How about this? On the 9th of July, it is National... Follow along with me. Don't put all of your eggs, nope, in one omelet. That's, uh, somebody took the time to make a proclamation to get this passed in the universe of National Day things. She said, don't put all your eggs in one omelet. Which is the dumbest thing I've ever heard. What if you've only got two eggs and you want to make a two-egg omelet? You put all of your eggs in the omelet, you stupid people who made a day that says don't put all of your omelets, eggs, in one omelet, stupid. Did I mention it was hot at Veterans Park and that may be the source of my anger today? Or is it Verizon that's making me angry? I'm just angry. But you know what will fix that anger on the 10th of July? It's national Pina Colada Day. If you like pina coladas, yeah, I do. But I never make them. Because honestly, I don't know what's in them. Do you, off the top of your head, do you know what's in a pina colada? Uh, More importantly, can you even spell pina colada? Because it's not easy. But on the 10th, drink your pina coladas. On the 10th, I'm going to learn what the ingredients are I'm going to make myself a pina colada. I know there's a blender involved. You got to blend. There's probably a banana, some rum. But I don't. I don't know what else is involved in a pina colada. Let's find out together on National Pina Colada Day. That's the tenth. Oh, thank heaven! It's seven eleven. On the 11th of July, it is, I'm not kidding, they marketed this expertly, National 7-Eleven Day. You know what you can't get at 7-Eleven? You can't get pina coladas. (laughs) I'm going to sing it every time I say it now. Uh, Moving on to the 12th. The 12th of July is National Simplicity Day. Or as I like to call it, Er Day. Just really, all of life's problems, if you just narrow it down to the common denominator, usually they fix themselves. It's really not that big of a deal. Just just make it simple. Look at life from a different angle. 
Stop complicating things. Stop getting over-emotional about things you can't fix, like Verizon bullshit wireless. Internet. I'm so bad with Verizon Day. Did I mention it was hot outside at Veterans Park this morning? <laughs> yeah, that and uh, do not, do not use Verizon. That's pretty much the theme of the day. On the 13th of July, it's Beans and Franks Day. I don't know why. I have to say Beans and Franks that way. Was that in a movie? Is that a movie callback that I can't remember? Beans and Franks Day! Or am I just excited every time I eat Beans and Franks that I say it that way? (laughs) No, they can't hear me now because they... Funny. It's still funny. Good job. I like it. You made me laugh. So the 13th of July, in case you forget, it's Beans and Franks Day! I'm going to have some beans and franks. I'm going to drink it with my margarita left over from the 10th. Being as simple as possible. Just, just, uh, <laughs> I'm uh, amalgamating all of the days into one. I'm going to have some macaroni, play some video games. I'm going to put all my eggs in one omelet. I'm going to drink a pina colada that I got from 7-Eleven. Being as simple as possible on beans and franks day. <laughs> and finally... For your national days of the week, it is the 14th, seven days from now, it's National <sighs> Mac and Cheese Day. Um, here's the deal. If you know good mac and cheese, you know good mac and cheese, right? I call it, and I, I take some heat over this, I've been calling it this for years, I'm not changing it. If you look on the internet, you can find it looking up these words. Black macaroni and cheese. Now, what is black macaroni and cheese? It's baked. It's just baked macaroni and cheese. It's also called southern styled macaroni and cheese. But I was led into the circle of the black family and learned how to make black macaroni and cheese. And it's got a lot of pepper on it, and it's baked, and it's cheesy, and it's delicious. If you're going to get some mac and cheese, take an extra two seconds and search for black mac and cheese on the internet. And taste that. Ooh-wee! It sure is good. That has been your National Days of the Week.